In the next video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to create a workflow from scratch. So we're not going to use a template. Um, we're going to use uh, the blank template, if you can call it that, where we have to decide our own triggers and actions. So I'm going to go to create and I'm going to set it up as an automated flow. We can look at the instant flows, etc. in another blog. So I'm going to go automated flow and um, I'm going to call this um, final reports teams you'll see in a moment and then the trigger that I want to use is when a file is created in my OneDrive for business so um, let's create this and there we go so it's asking me where is this file in my OneDrive for business remember it looks at my office 365 account so if I click on this little folder here I can navigate through my OneDrive for business I'm going to just click on the expand and then it's in the only me folder and I've got a working documents folder and I wanted to monitor whenever I put something in the final reports folder I wanted them to put a copy for me in my Microsoft Teams so in the final reports and there you can say include subfolders for content type so what must it do next so now I wanted to create a file so create oopsie Create file. Now remember, SharePoint is the storage behind Microsoft Teams. So if I go create file, you'll see that there's one there for SharePoint. So it's asking me, um, where do you want me to create the file? Now, of course, I can go look for the SharePoint site. I can also um, see my Teams there. And I want it to put it for me in the brand and marketing site. And then, of course, the channels are actually folders in Teams. So if I then navigate to the shared documents library, I can then find the specific channel that I'd like to um, save that document in so I want to put it in brand and marketing and I want to put it in management reporting the nice thing is I can now also define what the file must be called so of course I'm already looking at my OneDrive content there I've already got the content so I can then say that the file name must be the file name and the file content is the file content There we go, saved. And then let's make sure it is turned on. Now let's take a look at uh, Teams and let's see if it's actually created it in the team. So there's my team. There's my normal, and um, that's a private channel, but there's my management reporting channel. If I go to files, there you can see there's the file that got saved. Now let's take a look at my um, OneDrive. And there you can see is the file that I saved in my OneDrive in Working Documents and File Reports. And it's gone and taken a copy of the file and put it for me in Teams. That was a nice and easy one, but it should give you good ideas on um, nice things that you can do. Chat soon. See you tomorrow.